Yo, what up, what up? This is Remy in Brownsville, Brooklyn, at Woodstack. You're now fucking with their Matic. I think my first song that I did, right, was with my partner, um, P. So that's how my, my partner, Villain P. You know what I mean? And I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we all wasn't taking rap serious at first when we started, you know what I'm saying? It was just, you know, oh, I could rap, I could do this, you know what I mean? And, you know, my boy Villain P, he was the rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, truthfully, I was, I was like, you know, his manager and I was really trying to get him on, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't even, you know what I mean, like me rapping. But then, you know, I did a song with him and he was like, yo, why don't you just rap with me? You know what I mean? Like, take it seriously. And I was like, wow, you like, you like what I did? You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, that shit was, you know what I'm saying? That shit was fire. Like, you could do this, you know what I'm saying? So, at that point, you know, he was like my favorite rapper, you know what I mean? Like, like, at, like my favorite unknown rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like he was, as an MC, you know, my partner Villain P, like his wordplay and the way he listened to the beat was just different. So I, I loved it, man, I, and I loved the way he rapped. So for him to say that he liked the way I rap, I felt like, okay, I can do this. I can, I can contribute, I can, I can make songs and I can, you know what I'm saying? And I can make this real and then, you know, when Sean Price came along and stamped it for me and was just like, yo, you nice. Say no more. Nah, truthfully, truthfully, I ain't have nothing out. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we met him, I mean, we was working. Me and Villain P was working. We put out a, a mixtape called First One's Free. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, he didn't, he didn't really listen to it, like, you know, just by word of mouth for, you know what I'm saying, people just talking about it. I seen him in the store one day, you know what I mean? Around the corner, around here, and I was like, yo. I was like, yo, you Sean Price, right? And he looked at me, he was like, yeah, what up? And I was like, what up? So I ha happened to have one of our CDs on me, you know what I'm saying? And I gave it to him. And he looked at me, you know what I mean? And he was like, yo, is these raps or beats? And I was hesitant like a motherfucker, cause it's like, yo, I don't know. A lot of niggas know Sean Price, and you know what I mean. A lot of niggas know Ruck, but I didn't know him, but I knew of him. You know what I mean? And I know you couldn't really, like, you know, approach him on some. You know what I mean? It don't matter what it is. You just had to be cautious. You know what I'm saying? So when he said that, I was like, nah, it's raps. He was like, oh, what? He looked at me, looked at the CD, and was like, all right, and he left with it. You know what I mean? So I, I had my number on the CD. Some niggas was putting numbers on these CDs and all that shit. I ain't hear nothing back from him, you know what I'm saying? A few weeks later, I see one of my mans, one of my old heads, my OGs and shit, shouts out Humble Steve. He ran up to me on the block like, yo, I was with Ruck, and he was listening to your shit, and I told him I know you, and he was like, you don't know these niggas. And I was like, word? I was like, get the, I didn't even, I didn't even fucking believe him. I was like, nigga, you lying like a motherfucking nigga. Like, Ruck wasn't listening to our shit. And he was like, nah, he was, and you know what I mean? I just had gotten into Twitter and shit, so I was hitting him, you know what I mean? I hit him one day and I was like, yo, how much for a feature? And you know, he said 199. And this shit is on Twitter and I'm like, 199? I'm like, nigga, I'm about to come to your crib now. What the fuck you mean, you know what I'm saying? So then he, right, he, he followed me, you know what I'm saying? And then sent me his number and I called him. And ever since then, man, I went to his crib right then and there, man. And ever since then, man, it was just, you know what I mean? That's what it's been, man. And he, it became more than music.